In the next few minutes, I uh, want to be showing you how to use the Printful and to start creating and selling custom products effortlessly. So basically, the Printful allows us to design custom products automatically printing and ship them for you and integrates with popular e-commerce like Shopify, there's Etsy, there's so much more and there's no inventory requirement. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using a Shopify store, which is totally brand new. We haven't added absolutely anything here, so let's get started. The very first thing I would like to do, of course, to get started is to showcasing and start with the Printful. I'm going to be opening two types to get started. The first one should be the Printful, and the second one should be the Shopify. So this is totally optional. You can, of course, have Shopify you want to or not. I'm just going to be using this to import from Printful and send it directly from Shopify. So this is totally optional, so I just told you. Now here, to get started, what I need to do, of course, is to go directly here into Printful. Now, here into Printful, what I need to do is to create an account. You have the link down below in the description to have access to Printful for free. Now, you can see that we have the dashboard. We have three different steps in order to get started, which is connecting your store, uploading products to your store, and set up some billing information. So to connect your store directly here into Printful, for example, from Shopify, I need to go directly here into apps, look out for the application, which is the Printful, and install the Printful directly inside my application of the Shopify. I know that I have an actual account here in the Printful already, but I needed to have the access from Printful inside Shopify in order to make the connection between both of them. So each time I hit now into send product directly into my store, automatically should be sent it directly into Shopify, and I don't have to do absolutely anything else. So what I need to do, of course, is to sign up so I could have access into Printful. So what I need to do now is to reload this page to make sure that I have now access directly here. And you see that we have already an account, so make sure that you choose connect to the store to this website or this email address. In this case, here it is. I go over continue. And just like that, the Printful and my website are now connected. Now to get started creating products, I'm going to hit into the option that says add product. Into a store, add product. Now you can see that we have new products arrivals. You can start adding from best sellers, eco-friendly, and broader products, special orders when um, warming clothing and much more. We can choose out from categories. We can check out for the name of the product, the technique, and so much more. Once you selected one product which you'd like to use to get started, we are now inside the design maker. The design maker is where we can locate our design. We have a threaded color, and we have the front, the back, the right sleeve, the left sleeve, and the branding. So depending on how you actually import your own elements, should be having a different pricing in the file guidelines. For example, the print file template, the reviews, and that will be actually it. If you want, you can download the file um, print here template if you wanted to. In my case, I want to do it so. I'm going to go back directly into my designer so I can import my own design here into Printful. For that, I'm going to be using Canva. Now, Canva is one of the most amazing places to effortlessly do almost anything and you don't have to focus and to do a lot of stuff. So basically, what I'm going to do here, here into Canva is just to generate a few content. For example, let's say that I go here for the magic elements and Christmas pattern. And just like that, I have four different patterns that I can use for my designs. The great part elements of the AI is that this is with this is going to be really effortlessly and I don't have to do a, like a lot of elements here. I just needed to focus into what matters the most, which is uh, the design of it. So in my case, I select all of this. I go for the background remover. And what I need to do is to make sure that I choose another color. So I, of course, wanted to make sure that there is no background into my images. So with this being said, I go for show, I go for download, I make sure this one is a transparent background, and I, I wanted to import this directly into my element of the Printful. Now since these are, let's say, black colors, let's go for Christmas decors, I wanted to use a thread color which is uh, only white. Now I can go for upload or drop my design here. I understand and accept the conditions and I upload a new file. 
So this is going to be my file, which I'm going to be using for my product. And this is how it should be looking my print design. Now for making this, let's say much more amazing, I'm going to try to make this smaller like this. It doesn't look that bad. This is a really great quality. And then I'm going to try to use the option that says painter like this. It doesn't look that bad and actually it completes everything that I did here into my side. So if I liked it, then I can cut directly into the backside and do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to apply the same pattern. Of course, this is totally optional. You don't have to do what I'm doing here. You can use a different images. You can do different patterns. That is totally up to you. But in my case, I'm going to be using these patterns to make this look much more interesting. So I'm going to try to fill this with only this pattern design. When I finish with this element, I can go into my products, select all the sizes. And if you want to add more text, more safe designs or clip art, you can do it so. In my case, I'm going to hit into the option that says continue. Now, I'm going to choose some basic mockups for a variety of ready made up mockups. This is the main image, but I can choose to add additional or different mockups. For example, this guy. So if you like what you're seeing here, I just enable them. Let's say enable this one. I enable this one as well. And there we go. So I'm going to just delete this element and go for continue. Now this is the part where I want to customize the details of my product. So men's slim fit polo. So let's say that I go for men slim. We can add it now description. We have a side uh, guide if you wanted to add them into metric, whatever. We can add text and choose a collection to import your product. This is totally optional, of course, if you want to add it into the store. Now, uh, what I'm going to be doing here is to make sure that I have exactly the actual price of this product. And this is the actual retail price of my product. So if I do have this amount of money and I wanted to reduce, it, for example, like the 9% of it, 8%, I'm going to be earning this amount of money. So let's go for submit to the store if you want to submit the product to the store. If you don't want to submit a product to the store, well, what you can do is just to look out for your product and make an actual order of this product. So it should be appearing here into your product catalog if you create one product catalog. So you wanted to see how it actually looks your product, just click into your printful, go for your product templates and go for a new order. So we can select the store which you wanted to choose. You choose to test your own designs or to create an actual order with a basic order, of course. And you choose a product which you like to use to make the generation of it. In my case, I'm going to go into my Shopify and I wanted to see if I have now the product added. The I'm going to go for preview into my online store. And actually, it is here. We already have the preview of my product. It doesn't look that bad. Actually, it looks really, really awesome. So we can see that here are the details of it. It doesn't look that bad. Actually, it looks really, really great when it comes to checking out a uh, really t-shirt, like a polo t-shirt. It doesn't look that bad, actually. So if you like what you're seeing here, then you can start to making your own uh, product payments. And basically, of course, when you create a product, when you generate some mockups, when you set up the product and pricing, everything should be saved into your product template. And of course, to publish your product into your online store is totally optional. If you wanted, of course, to make the orders and fulfillment automatically, you can check this out into the lab hall that says orders. So when a customer is making an order, everything should be appearing here. The shipping, the tracking information should be done directly from the actual printful, so you don't have to do absolutely anything there. So the Printful dashboard helps you track product sales and performance, allowing you to see what selling is well and adjust your strategy accordingly. So basically, guys, now that you know how to start your own print on demand business, we have an actual recap, which is creating a Printful account, creating your first product, importing that product into your store and managing your Printful account. So you're now ready to start here into Printful. Remember that experiment with different designs to keep your pricing competitive, focus into marketing on your store to attract customers. And well, basically that will be actually it. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And well, hopefully you can all see you next time.